today is the day we are seeing beyonce today i know it's it's pretty much like the end of her tour at this point uh, i think she has a few more cities to stop by but um i'm still excited for it because one of my things was like damn we're kind of like at the tail end of it and i feel like by the time it gets to this point like people are gonna be like okay we get it we're over it but i'm just as excited i've been seeing like the videos pop up on tiktok and stuff and i'm just really really hyped i can't lie now that we're here i kind of wish i would have gone to go see her in a different city i wish i would have gone to see her in atlanta maybe even vegas i don't know if people are gonna go as hard i was talking about this on my story too that concerts in la are just different i feel like the energy is not the same we're there for the concert and for her and to have a good time in general anyway um right now i'm getting ready to head out i'm gonna go get some brunch before i kind of get the day started i don't have anything planned for the day because i wanted to make sure to start getting ready early because i want to get some content and some outfit pictures and just some some stuff i already have my outfit sitting out laid out i've already tried it on like four times i wanted to film a get ready with me today for sure because i know my makeup's about to be a little more glam than what i normally do so yeah that's what we're doing today my outfit is all gray in honor of tonight's concert these i just got from pretty little thing they're just gray sweatpants and i'm just wearing my new balances Y'all tell me how it's drizzling outside. Drizzling. Actually, it's not drizzle. It's like rain. The, the floors are wet. Rain? <laughs> it's full on raining. It's rain. Um, plan B. Traffic light camera ahead. Thank you. Okay, so we can't eat at the place we're going to, which sucks. I was really looking forward to it. It's called the Canopy Club in Culver City, but it's a rooftop and it's literally raining. Like there's no way. So super bummed. It is what it is though. Uh, we're gonna go to a different place instead. And I called too, just to see if we're able, like if they had a, wow. <laughs> we were i called to see if they have covered seating and she's like no we're like 99 percent outdoors and even the people that are here are just waiting for the rain to stop because the only area we have is the bar area and it's super small just wondering if I should switch up my hair because I was gonna wear it down but if I wear my hair and down and curled I'm gonna be looking crazy if it starts to rain I am kind of considering switching up why are you driving in my lane And it would be a Prius. No shade. I'm trying to see what I want to go with for my makeup. I do know I have some silver crystals that I want to use. Yep. I bought these gems from Amazon that I want to put on my eyes after I finish. But aside from that, as far as eyeshadow, I got rid of all of my shadows. I only have two palettes left. They're both Juvia's Place. 
two or three. Um, so I'm just going to use this one because I figure you can't really go wrong with the shades. I have lashes because my lash extensions are falling apart. And I did not want to get a fill. Because I'm going to be going on a trip next week. What's today? Saturday. Yeah, next week. And I was thinking about getting lash extensions for the trip, like getting a fill, but I kind of think I want to have the flexibility of either doing no lashes or doing clusters. So I think I'm just going to um, take these on that trip. It's like a pack. And I also have some. I'm going to try a new glue. Pray for me. I'm trying the Ardell Lash Tie. I've heard that this one tears your lashes up if you pull the extensions out that you have to use a glue remover so i got that too uh, i might try that today but i specifically got that for the trip so i'm gonna do my brows real quick y'all know i like to do this off camera because it's nothing special <laughs> I might have to take an L on this video and just turn off the ads and not monetize it because I don't see how I'm going to include videos of the concert and not get flagged for copyright. Like it, I just, it doesn't even make sense. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> just use my huda beauty concealer in vanilla swirl 3.1 for my base and then i set it with my charlotte no my laura mercier and now i'm gonna go in with the palette so i think i don't know i'm kind of thinking just keeping it bronze like i said and maybe popping on a little bit of this silverish chrome oh because I, I bought a glitter from Stila, but I'm kind of not sure if I'm going to be liking that. I might want to keep it a little more smoky. So I'm just taking this color, and this is the Coffee Shop palette. After I finish the rest, because I want to see what it's looking like. Foundation, I was tempted to try something new, but we're not doing that because that's a setup. But I don't know which one to wear. It's only 4 o'clock and the concert starts at 8. So I need something that's going to last me. I'm going to hope that these do it for me. I'm sure they will. Nars is bomb. 
NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in medium 2.5 and the long wear in medium 3.5. I'm gonna mix them. I usually like to go a little darker at night with my foundation just in case I um, use flash or anything. There's not flash back. I like the rhinestones or not I only have them on one eye because I want to see how it looks with my full outfit I'm obsessed with the eyes though I feel like the eyes came out and I never do silver or chrome on my eyes so I really like it I just curled my hair believe it or not I'm rushing and I started getting ready three hours before but on this side I'm letting it set now that I have my outfit on I kind of feel like it's the rhinestones on the eyes too much Now this, it was short, so I had to put shorts under the shorts because I was not about to be showing all the meatiness of the cheeks. So I had to put some that are a little longer. These are Amazon. You can see the difference there. Ah! <laughs> Sickening, look at these. So I got the boots and I have all of my accessories, all silver. This cross necklace, some other necklaces, 
chains. I don't know if I'm gonna put these. I like to put over my head, not to wear because they're a little too big. Uh, but I'm gonna see how much exactly I want to accessorize after I put the shoes on. It's exactly what I was going for. Fire. Fire. I lost one of the earrings that I wanted to throw on. They're just plain studs, but without the other one, I won't have any earrings. Okay, so I'm for sure wearing this necklace or this chain. And I think I want to wear my Sabrina necklace too. Kind of layer them. I just realized I haven't even showed you my nails, how I ended up doing them for the concert. But I did marble tips and then chrome right on the edge of it. There you go. That's what I went for. I have yet to try my outfit on with all of my makeup and stuff. That's why I'm kind of changing up some stuff. Because once my makeup and hair is done, I'm able to really get the full effect. And almost like not accessorize as much. So I was thinking of popping these on. But again, I don't know if it's necessary. It's like too much. I just want to keep it cute. It should cost a billion to look this. I see you want it and you're coming for me. You don't be.
Wow, that concert <laughs> was absolutely amazing. Worth every penny, such a good time, such a good show. Even the section that we were in, the food, the lines were short, nothing, like no issues, no issues getting into the venue. Um, getting out was tricky, but we had a driver, so what we did was we walked further out and just kind of like met our driver out so we wouldn't be stuck in traffic, but the experience overall was incredible. We were actually going to try to go today too, but it didn't end up working out. Today's her birthday show. Today is Monday right now that I'm filming this, and we went to the Saturday show, and I wanted to go today as well so bad because I was wondering like what is she going to do for her, her birthday show but you know I'm just glad I got to experience it at least once especially because I haven't seen her perform in five years. I think it's been five years since I went to the on the run tour when she went on tour with her husband but yeah I gosh. I'm at a loss for words. Just looking through all the videos, I keep rewatching them. I was playing them in my car on speaker and everything, and it just, it was a really, really good show. Uh, if you haven't seen Beyonce live, it's just one of those things that, even if you're not the biggest fan in the world, I feel like everybody needs to see her at least once in their life because she was just that freaking good i am actually kind of glad we didn't go tonight thinking about it because we are leaving on a trip in not tomorrow but wednesday we leave on a whole almost week long trip so i probably shouldn't be out and about at a concert getting home late waking up late and just because tomorrow i have to take the day to pretty much do all of the vacation prep so probably a good thing that we didn't go tonight i'm just gonna say it was not meant to be for us to go there was reason why we didn't go and just be grateful <laughs> that i even got to go to that 
one show. We did not win the mute challenge, which I'm not surprised at all. I had a feeling like in our section, there's this one, just one person that just always has to be different for whatever reason. Well, that was our section. There was a one person that just, it was quiet. And then he was like, Beyonce. And we were just like, like perp you could tell it was purposely because everybody was quiet. Even he was quiet up until, anyway. Walking up to the venue, I was nervous. I don't know why, like I was about to perform or something. I just was so nervous walking up nervous excited and then you know she opened up and it was just amazing i'm so glad that i got to go um and if you went you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm not gonna lie having to get back to regular life after seeing beyonce live is crazy you mean to tell me i can't continue the tour with her i can't spend more time with her now i see why people have gone to three four five shows like it, it actually makes sense but you know life goes on anyway i am prepping now to kind of start packing for this trip this is not a trip i'll be vlogging y'all know me i'm not I'm not the travel vlog girly. I will be vlogging my Punta Cana trip at the end of this month, but this trip I will not. I am in the place in my life right now where I go to vacation to vacation. <laughs> Literally, and not to pull out my, I will be obviously like Insta story vlogging and posting on there, but as far as pulling out the camera and putting on a whole vlog <laughs> but um i do like to show you guys you know just the vlogs beforehand like me prepping and stuff um just because it's part of like everyday life but yeah i am gonna head out right now i have some stuff i need to take to the tailor there are these two really cute oh they're in the car there are these really cute dresses that i got but one fits a little bit too big right here so i'm gonna have to get it tightened because it almost like slips down And then the other dress is too long and too big. So I'm gonna try to see if they can do that one. I have a feeling they're not gonna be able to do it, but we'll see. Gotta do that. I got some swimsuits from White Fox Swim. I don't think I've ever purchased swimwear from there. So I got, um, this is not from there. This is just like a cover up, but I got this really pretty bright one that I love and it's padded we love to see it and then I got the matching bottom with it which is like a really high slit they had one on sale matter of fact for a Monday swimwear I love their swimwear I've only purchased I think one or two but the quality of their stuff's amazing and they were having a summer sale and all the sizes for this one that I needed were gone so i found a similar one on white fox so got that and then i also got this one that i thought was really cute and also kind of similar to the monday swimwear one hold on this is a one piece but more of a dainty one piece it kind of looks like a two piece but barely connected with this here but i just think it's really cute so i'm gonna take both but I'm, i don't know if i'll wear both but whatever one i don't wear I'm gonna take to Dominican Republic. And I also, I also started laying out some of my stuff here as well that I want to take. Some more swimsuits, skims, and riot swim. I gotta wash these, that's why I have them on the side. But this is like a similar color, which is why I wasn't sure if I'm gonna go with the one over there. And then this one's Fashion Nova. Have some pretty little thing outfits, Amazon liquid IV <laughs> um, and some like these I need to find a top for and figure that out and everything else I'm taking a lot of dresses so I don't even have to think about my outfits really and again whatever I don't wear on this trip I am gonna wear 
to DR when I go with the girls at the end of this month. So um, right now I wanna go out and look for a top for these two bottoms here. I need to run to Target to get some travel essentials. Um, I need to go to the tailor. Usually she's able to have things the same day, so I'm hoping that's the case. If not, I'm gonna have to go back tomorrow morning to pick that up. But that's kind of what's on the agenda. I wanted to update you guys on a random home update. I took the desk out that I had right here because I was realizing I was not using the desk enough for it to make sense to even have one. And it was just taking up a lot of space that just did not make sense for me. It just seemed very, the desk seemed kind of random. I was trying to figure out what to put on top of it and it just wasn't doing it for me. And I quite literally never used the desk. So took that out, the stuff that I had on top, I just put in my closet. Some of the stuff that was on there, I like the vase I put over there and yeah. So I like it like this a lot better and I ended up moving the chair here just like I had in that one video and now it just feels a lot more open and like it's not just a random desk sitting there. I like this a lot, lot more. So now um, what I also wanna do today is on the way back home, maybe go to Costco and get a plant because I went to get a cake for my mom's birthday a few days ago and they had fiddle leaf trees and they had some other really pretty trees. Uh, so I think I want to get one to put in this area because it's just all neutrals. And I need some greenery, something in this section. Also found this artwork piece at Home Goods. Fell in love. I went and I purchased one and I actually had to go back to the store because the lady forgot to give it she set it to the back while she was ringing up the rest of my stuff and she forgot to hand it back to me and I had already paid and I completely forgot uh, or didn't realize I should say that she didn't hand it back to me so I had to go back to the store later in the evening to get it you know back and when I went back I ended up getting a second one which I have sitting over here because I don't know where I want to put it yet or if I'm going to put it up but either way if I don't find a spot for it I'm going to store it underneath my bed because I just feel like these two pieces would be pieces that I can use either in my next apartment if I move again or in my home if I purchase a home so I'm kind of like this situation like I've had this tree this is a faux tree that i got from target i've had this for a few years now and it's gone with me through i think two or three apartments it just goes in every it always works out and i think these pieces are just that i also got a few new things to put on the tv stand this is one of them from home goods that i thought was really pretty and then on this side i have my candle and i added some books on top and i got these to hold the books up these marble looking stones they're very heavy duty but i thought that would add a little bit of warmth and then in the back i have my speaker so you can't even really see it but it's when i turn it on you can hear music coming from this area and then i bought some baskets to add again warmth and texture this blanket is the one i used to have on the couch i got this from target some like two months ago i think and i think they still have it in store but very cozy cute blanket and I put it in this basket that I also got from Home Goods. I got two sizes in this basket because I really liked it. Baskets are tricky because some of them can make your apartment look really farmhouse. So I was taking my time really looking through the baskets and this one kind of gives warmth, but not too farmy, which love that. So that is holding another fluffy blanket under and then this one is on top just kind of covering you can kind of get a better idea without the painting sitting right there so i like that because i needed some some warmth some texture some something in this corner have more of my travel stuff laid out right here and in the bedroom i also got same basket just a smaller size and I'm storing some blankets I'm gonna put some other blankets in here also 
because my room also needed some warmth and texture. There's a lot of gray, blacks, and neutrals and cool tones, but we need to add some warmth. Um, so this, you can see, this is like cool, this is cool, and this just adds that warmth that I feel like has been missing in this apartment. So it's coming together slowly but surely. I just made it to the tailor. Two things to get done. Hopefully she's able to do them for me. After this, I need to go get something to eat some lunch because I'm starving. It's gloomy outside, which I surprisingly kind of appreciate because I'm wearing my Ugg Tasman shoes. Cozy sweatpants, a loungy cardigan. I forgot to show you guys my outfit, but it's like nice and cozy vibes. And then tomorrow I'm hitting the beaches and the sun is about to be 90 degrees where I'm at. So it'll be a nice, nice little switch up. I didn't need to get this dress after all because there was a hook that I forgot to hook and that made it less loose at the top. And then the other one I am getting tailored. And it was only 15 bucks. I love coming here because it's not expensive and they're quick. Uh, some guy just walked in right now to get something tailored and, oh no, a lady walked in and they told her she can come back in 30 minutes and it'll be done. It's like a small, obviously a small alteration but my dress is a little more complicated so she said i could pick it up tomorrow morning that's still super quick i went to a place one in downtown one in another place a week minimum to pick up my item and it was not anything it was literally like jeans no <laughs> so i take my little behind i take a little drive out here it's in Pico Rivera. It's called Hong Alterations. It's literally a really small mom and pop shop. It's not in like the prettiest area or anything at all. So don't expect that. It's literally a tiny, tiny little place. So I always give them, like I give them a really big tip because they charge so inexpensive. They charge like seven, five or seven dollars to get jeans taken in. That's like so inexpensive. So I just always tip them really well because they're quick and it's just they do a good job so yeah i'll be back out here tomorrow morning to pick up my dress and now i can head out to i want panera panera h m costco target and then tomorrow back to the tailor one thing i forgot to mention in case you do go get your stuff tailored there don't expect like insanely tip top customer service most of the time there's kind of like a little bit of a language barrier and like i said keep in mind they're doing alterations for the low so their customer service is not gonna be like oh i need to exit so the customer service is like minimum i'm just this is just a disclaimer because i don't want to be going there and be like oh they were like rude or they didn't really talk or i i'm just letting you know that's what that's what you're getting when you go there once you go a few times you realize like oh yeah this is just how it is like don't expect top notch it's it's not that like i said it's a mom and pop hole in the wall small not anything bougie luxury crazy if you want to pay a little bit more for your alterations and get different customer service go somewhere different but i don't need the customer service and the super extra nice i just need my jeans and my dresses and my items tailored i need them tailored good and for seven dollars we're good this is probably so judge me if you want but whenever i see a couple in a parking lot just like kind of in the middle of a parking lot and they're outside the car talking the first thing i think is where are y'all's husband and wife my mind automatically goes to y'all are linking up 
in the middle of a parking lot in the middle of the day, kikiing, laughing, giggling, honey, hugging up on each other, because y'all are sneaky linking behind somebody's back. Like, that's the first place my mind goes. I don't know why it happens. Every time I see a couple kissing and hugging outside of a random parking lot, their cars are parked next to each other, Just they're just kikiing. Like, why can't y'all meet at each other's, like, home places? I don't know. It's just something about it. Anyway, y'all, we made it to Panera. I need to stop being messy because they could really just be meeting up after lunch and just being cute. Child. Anyway, let's go. I don't know what it is, but whenever my skin's doing really, really good, I like to terrorize it by buying new skincare products that I've never tried before and messing my skin up again. It's like a vicious, toxic cycle. But let's do a haul. One thing I have tried is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I did not know that they had this jumbo size with a pump. So I had to get it. This is the cleanser that I use day in, day out, morning and night. This is the one. I have the one where you have to push it and like squeeze it out, but it, once it gets towards the end, it's kind of like hard to get out. So a pump. Key, that cleanser's expensive, but it's worth the price. Because I spent the price, I got this free uh, mini cleansing gel. So I didn't have to buy. I just bought a small version of the cleansing gel to take on the trip because I didn't have a small version and they just gave me a free one. That's fine. Um, so it comes with a special cleansing gel, a circular hydration serum, and intensive moisture balance moisturizer. I got a travel size of the special cleansing gel, which is the one that I just showed. The products that I have, in, oh, this I have tried. This is my go-to also cleanser morning and night as of lately. Just does me no wrong. These are the two I have not tried, but I hear good things about. They're both Dermalogica. My skin tends to like, no correction, my skin tends to love Dermalogica stuff. So I got the vitamin C serum. It's a brightening vitamin C serum. It has amazing reviews. And apparently it's like their best seller or one of their most sold items uh, I can't open it oh there you go and I don't have any serums in my skincare routine right now because the one I was using was kind of heavy for me so I'm hoping that this one will do what it needs to do I'm planning on using this one in the daytime before my SPF after my moisturizer and then I'm planning on using this one at night. This is an Age Bright. It's new apparently. It's the Age Bright Clearing Serum. And this helps to clear out breakouts and redness for clearer, brighter skin. This is the one right here. So that's going to be my nighttime serum. It's time for me to include serums and anti-aging stuff because about the time then i got an aquaphor lip balm that has spf 30 because my lips always just hate me when i'm on vacation and i got one more thing i was gonna get the mini size of the osea oil but i saw this trio that comes with the oil the body butter and the scrub so i was like put it in the cart and it was like 36 bucks and it comes with a little scrub a little oil which this size is honestly more than enough for how much moisture this has and for a trip like this is not it's probably gonna be to here by the end of the trip this goes a long long way perfect literally the perfect size and then I get a body scrub that I can take with me on the trip or just have at home i have not tried their body scrub but all of their stuff's really good so i'm sure this is fire oh no this is the body butter my bad um i have tried their body anti-aging serum i have that 
in my bathroom, but I can take this to moisturize on the trip and it's nice and small. I don't have to take a big old Nivea moisturizer or put it in like the Nivea in a travel tube. And then this is the scrub. Cute. This is the salts of the earth body scrub. That smells freaking amazing. Cool. Those are pretty much most of the little essentials that I needed. Oh, and I'm driving around my desk because I, I'm i kind of between am I going to donate it or uh, my boyfriend liked it so he might stain it a deeper color so it goes with his apartment because he's like that's a really nice desk okay so i got a cleanser check i need a small makeup bag double-sided hairbrush raspberry tea okay cool from here we can go to h and m We're gonna go to Target. Target, then H&M, then Costco on the way home. Costco is not a necessity. I really only wanna go for the plants and I don't need plants right now. But it, the only reason why I wanna go is, is, is cause I'm out this way and that's the specific Costco I went to that I know has the plants that I liked and it's on the way. But if it starts getting late, traffic's crazy, whatever, and I'll just head back out my way. I do need to get some emails and stuff done because today's Tuesday, the day after Labor Day. And technically it's Monday. So emails gotta get answered. I did a little bit this morning after my therapy session, but I still wanna do a little bit more and I have some edits to do for some content that's due also, so. Yeah. <laughs> when you come around, you're pressing me like gin, you wine so anxiously, but super thirsty and itchy like you never had no coochie. What's that they say back in the day? It's plenty of fish in the sea. Well, somebody's play was with these same fish that be swimming to me. Why I don't see no picture with your hat missing Rug rap prison Bad flipping five kids But your back been bent We're cutting to the next day And I'm doing my hair How I'm planning on wearing it Which is just in my half up Half down Loose curl situation Because if I sleep in this I, I feel like the longer I wear it, the more days I sleep in it, the better it looks. It gets frizzier, and then I just touch it up with the curling iron again. Right now, it's like certain areas, there's a lot of space, but once it gets frizzy and stuff, I like the way it looks. And I think this should be the perfect hair for this trip because I don't, it's like low effort. I can wear it half up, half down for like a good two days. And then I can put it down and put a scarf and wear it one day like that. I can pull it up in a high ponytail or bun, super messy with the curls and then leave a few pieces out. And then if I get over, I can do like a slick bun or a ponytail type of situation, just depending on the outfit. So I have a lot of options with this hair. So that's what I'm gonna start with I was gonna like straighten it and do all that but it's gonna be we're going to Aruba and Curacao so I already know it's going to be hot and humid I think so um, 
big curly hair i feel like is my favorite when it's like nice and humid but after this i'm gonna make myself a matcha and i wanted to show you specifically the whipped cream that i found at target yesterday i meant to do a target haul and all that but first of all y'all didn't see me do so many target hauls at this point even though you guys i'm sure would still love it but um i ended up getting home and getting straight to packing up all the little things i want to show you the whipped cream that i got and i want to show you some travel items that i think are so bomb i just randomly came across them at target and they're like saving so much space in my bag because before or at least for my makeup and toiletries because before i would take my makeup in that squared makeup train case that i've showed you guys before i have it in black and that white marble and i like that because it stores all of my daily makeup and even when, if i'm going somewhere and i want to do my makeup on the go i'll just take the entire little train case and i have everything i need in there already but for travel it's not convenient because i don't use all that when i'm traveling i don't use all the items in there all the brushes all the different lip products in there i have all of my favorite makeup products in there that i like to reach for during the week and i don't need all that for vacation so i was trying to find something better let me show you this is the train case i'm talking about this squared one and it saves space but it doesn't because if you're not using every single inch of the inside it doesn't make sense to have all this and because it's so stiff and firm you can't really maneuver around you can't really what am i trying to say yeah maneuver things or maneuver this around different things in your suitcase if that makes sense like it's a solid i feel like some of you guys probably get what i mean all of these additional products in here and brushes and whatnot i don't need to take all of this on my trip so it wouldn't make sense to take this big old makeup case in some travel situations i think it might be good like if i was going to like new york or something but for a tropical vacation where my makeup is i mean my makeup's already minimal as it is but on vacation i like to be even more minimal and take less stuff i don't need that big old thing so i'll show you guys right now the one that i got at target i got two of them that's how much i liked it and i was like let me just pick them up if i don't end up liking them i can just return them but no i'm glad i got two of them oh, just seeing my curls under here sometimes makes me wanna but y'all my hair is long i think if i did i'm not gonna do it because i'm enjoying my long hair right now and i haven't had long hair like this in a long time so i want to enjoy it before i even touch it um but if i were to cut to like shoulder length and really just nourish my hair it would be on a poppin i wouldn't even have to really be doing this for a vacation i would just wear my hair natural the reason why i don't just wear it natural now is because you see the ends like none of this is a full curl it only is like wavy and it just looks crazy when i don't do anything to it and if i just let it air dry it's just like no I did go to the tailor today to get that second piece that I needed to get tailored. I want to show you those two items because I really like them. They're both from Fashion Nova. Did I tell you guys that I got most of the stuff for this trip from there? I shopped Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, Meshki. Where else? There's one other place that I shopped for this trip. Um... And I got a lot of dresses because I don't even have to think about it. You just throw it on. Dresses, two-piece sets, things like that. I'm going to create, because I don't know when I'm posting this video, if I'm posting it before the trip or after. But um, because I'm mostly going to be vlogging for Instagram stories instead of on here. Usually for my trips, I create a highlight on my Instagram with the name of wherever I'm going so this one will be Aruba 
and I just keep that highlight on my Instagram page for anybody who wants to go on there and see how the trip went, where we went. Sometimes I tag different places we go to within the destination. Um, just what we're up to out there. So I'll make sure to do that for this trip if I'm posting the video. Well, either way, I'm going to do it, but especially if I'm posting this video afterwards, that's where you can find clips of the trip. I wonder what Beyonce actually did for her birthday. What do you do on your birthday if you're Beyonce? And that's how I'm gonna wear my hair to the airport and I'll show you my outfit that I'm planning on wearing to the airport too. And then we'll make a matcha. It's uh, late, but our flight is at 12, like 12 a.m. Almost 12 a.m. Not that I want to stay up on the flight. I want to knock out. But matcha doesn't really give me energy. I just like the taste. So I just want kind of like a sweet treat. And I want to try that whipped cream. I went to the UGG outlet on the way home today after I went to go pick up my dress. And I found the Uggs that I love, the slippers that do not have the fur on the front. I prefer these, and they only sell them online if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I don't know if they have the women's sizes on the Ugg website. So um, I went, y'all, these at the outlet were like $40, 40 bucks. And so I got these. I got another pair that I thought were cute also. These ones were also around $40. They have a gold bronze ribbon. They're fluffy. And it says UGG on the side. Tell me these are not adorable. 40 bucks. So this is what I'm wearing to the airport. Very casual. I might take my bag, might not. But my tank top is Zara. These are H&M sweatpants. They're like a beige. And then my Ugg slides or slippers. I'm going to put socks on so I'm not barefoot when I have to take my shoes off. You know me. Casual. Looks like I tried. But I didn't. <laughs> I've tried this matcha brand before but I haven't tried this one. I've only tried the sweetened one which I did not love. It tasted very artificial in my opinion. I'd like to be able to add my own sweetness, so I'm hoping that I'll like this one. I do also have this one, which I also love, but I wanted to try this one today. What I need to do is buy a whisk and a little bowl for my matcha at home. Because I hear it, it does make a difference in the taste. I don't know if it's true or not. But that's what I hear. That's what they be saying in the streets. I think I put a little too much milk, but it's fine. <laughs> She's a content creator. <laughs> I'm also filming a pre hitting the airport Instagram story, which you can't even really tell because I have it. I usually like to record little stuff like this on my iPhone camera and then I'll just use CapCut to edit it and post it on my story because the quality is a lot better.
It looks good, so I feel like it has to be good. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot to add syrup because the matcha doesn't have any, any sweetness. So I'm gonna do two and a half pumps of vanilla. The whipped cream adds some sweetness, but not enough. Love. Matter of fact, we're gonna do a little more with cream. Cause that's how I'm feeling. Period. The whipped cream is not too sweet. I think regular whipped cream is sweeter. So if you like whipped cream, but sometimes it's like too sweet or you don't wanna make your drink too sweet, this one is good. What? Is this right? Y'all, for two tablespoons, this only has one gram of sugar. And it doesn't say anything in the front about it being a light version. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's get to, oh, lying. I wanted to show you these dresses that I picked up. One of them is this one that I got shortened because it was longer and I got it tighter. I love the tassels, the texture to it. Something fun, something different for vacation. This is Fashion Nova's Bali Mommy Crochet Mini Dress. To wrap around my hair, I got this at H&M today, actually. Just thought this was cute to use as a hair wrap. Maybe. The other dress I got, I already put away. I'm putting together a snack bag. And this just reminded me... Uh, first of all, just look at the bag. I'm not done, but I have to add more to it. But this just reminded me of the big emergency kit ziploc bag that they used to make us or make our parents make for us in case there was like an earthquake or something happened while we were at school and this just took me back and i i don't know i just putting it the stuff in here i was like wait this looks like what did they used to put in there they used to put um i think it was like something that you can open up it was like aluminum or silver that you can open up and like sit on in case of whatever and there were snacks that wouldn't go bad just a lot of emergency things y'all know what i'm talking about they used to make us do this in elementary and we had to keep it in the classroom just in case there was ever <laughs> an emergency at school oh i miss those days so i'm packing granola bars fruit gummies I'm also gonna put some teas. And I'm also taking some liquid IVs, uh, but I'm not gonna take these on the plane because we're not gonna need them on the plane. That's another thing, you can take snacks on the plane as long as they're unopened. Well, obviously check your local airline, <laughs> but here we can take snacks as long as they're closed. Because think about it, People gotta take snacks for like their kids when they're on the plane, for long flights, for baby formula. So if you're an adult that likes to snack, like me, take you a little snack bag. So liquid IVs are going in here. And if you know, you know, you wanna stay regular on your trip, get you some fiber supplements. These are in an on-the-go pack, so you can just tear it. Obviously, they sell the big container with the powder. You can do it at home. But if you want to stay regular on the go, I don't know what it is with travel. I think it's just the different food, the water. I don't know. But, okay, don't say I didn't, don't say I didn't put you on to the travel fiber supplement. All right, so that's going in the 
check-in suitcase because I'm not going to need any of this stuff until I'm there. And emergency feminine products can also go in this one. Last thing I'm showing in this vlog and then we are closing out because mama got to get prepared for this trip. No joke, I'm leaving to the airport in about two and a half hours. I mean, I'm mostly packed. I just, I'm gonna show you guys this and then I need to organize my stuff. So these are the bags that I got that have saved a lot of space this time around. They are from Sonia Kashuk. They're called the Weekender bag. It's a one piece bag. Got two of them. Look at how thin this is compared to, and they're just about the same size lengthwise, but somehow this one is holding more stuff. But as far as thickness goes, look at the difference. Just one bag, it actually is a huge difference because one of these bags is holding a lot of what I had in this train case and I also have some toiletry stuff in here. So two of these I would say is about the same thickness as the makeup train case that I have, but it's holding four times the stuff. The math is mathing. Okay, but I have some of my travel stuff in here, perfumes, the stuff I showed you from Ulta, these mouthwashes which are clutch, open the top, fold it up, mix both together, go like that, and then perfect for travel so you don't have to carry a bunch. I just throw a few of them in there. So that's one side here. What do I, oh, I put hair ties, safety pins, bobby pins, all of like my loose hair stuff in that flap. And then over here, I still have room to put more stuff. So that's one of them. I don't even think I'm gonna fill all of this up because I, I it holds a lot of stuff. I don't need to take a lot of stuff, but I'm glad that it, it does. So in this one, matter of fact, I can put all of my toiletries, I think, and my makeup will probably fit in just one, most of them. Some toiletries, I think, are full size like yeah this one and this so i might have to use the second one but like all my makeup that i need to use is all in here i have four foundations in here a concealer a blush highlight my laura mercier powder got to be gel one, two, three, four, five, five, six different lip colors. My Rare Beauty highlighter. And this is all full size stuff minus the Laura Mercier is a smaller one. But my Fenty Beauty bronzer, beauty blender in here, a puff, my all my lip products, two concealers, three concealers actually a liquid no a cream blush all of that okay this flap is holding all of my makeup brushes all of my brushes are in here <laughs> literally all of them oh and my lashes and a sharpener and scissors and my lash glue it's all in here and i still have this side completely empty and it's but I will link these for y'all I'm gonna get to packing to drinking my matcha and to tidying up my place before I have to head out for this trip but I hope that you enjoyed this vlog coming with me to Beyonce um, what else did we do a little Ulta haul, everything, all the little things like that. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you guys. I'll see you over on my Instagram story or my Instagram highlight of the trip.
if you want to see how it went i love you guys and i'll see you all in my next video so this brought around the way instantly connected when he caught my eye nothing ever was the same couldn't seem to get his picture out my mind then we took it all the way i could have sworn he was just my type then he he said to me you're my